Dr. Fauci said yesterday we could see millions of cases in this country and as many as one to 200,000 deaths. Do you agree with that analysis? So in the flu models, the worst case scenario is between 1.6 million and 2.2 million deaths. That's the projection if you do nothing. We do things together well, almost perfectly. We could get in the range of 100,000 to 200,000 fatalities. I know, but you know, you kind of take my breath away with that because what I hear you saying is that's sort of the best case scenario. Well, the best case scenario would be 100% of Americans doing precisely what is required. 2020, no worries, mate. We're doing social distancing, just like our government told us to do. This is social distancing here at 6 p.m. on Bondi Beach. Well, social distancing advice was ignored by Sydney siders trying to escape the heat. Thousands cramming to beaches from Bondi to Manly yesterday. Australians have been advised to stay a metre and a half apart to help curb the spread of the virus. Australia's most iconic beach, Bondi, has been closed down. The beach is now closed. You need to leave the water. There were no sharks in the water, just the threat of coronavirus on the sand. There are photographs of Sydney's Bondi Beach, packed with tourists, and that have left many people fuming, especially on social media, as a huge crowd gathered at the iconic waterfront site. Now, why, of course, there are people angry over this right now is clearly because of the COVID-19 spread. Remember, authorities in Sydney have now closed the Bondi Beach after Friday's gathering exceeded Australia's outdoor gathering limit of 500 people. The drastic step came after scenes of a jam-packed beach on a Friday night sent shockwaves around the world. This is how well we are doing things in Australia. Unbelievable. 25,000 people, when the number should have been no more than 500, partied into the evening. We might be healthy, but you don't may not appreciate how contagious this is, and a healthy person can transmit this to other people who may not uh, have healthy outcomes. Well, it's definitely not ideal. Um, it is a worry with so many people all together, and I do think the whole world is probably looking at us right now thinking of what a massive mistake that we're making. Disregarding the social distancing guidelines. This is social distancing here at 6 p.m. on Bondi Beach. The health minister fired the first shot. What happened in Bondi? Uh, was unacceptable and uh, the local council must take steps to stop that occurring. But the state police minister followed suit. What we saw this morning here in Bondi Beach um, was the most irresponsible behaviour um, of individuals that we've seen. If the community does not comply uh, with the regulations and the health warnings, well then this is going to become the new norm. I am surprised by the number of people out. I've just been out for a swim and it's sort of like come out, get a bit of exercise, get outside and head home. I guess I'm more surprised by just the number of people who are just lazing around on the beach. The whole social distancing thing hasn't really uh, taken hold in Bondi just yet, I would say.